10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top. Allez, ma jolie carte. The Planck satellite is a joint European Space Agency NASA mission to take the baby pictures of the universe, as it was only 400,000 years after the Big Bang. Specifically, we're going to measure the tiny, tiny fluctuations in the cosmic microwave background, or CMB, the relic radiation of the Big Bang. Ultimately, Planck will produce the definitive map of the cosmic microwave background temperature and the most detailed map of the polarization that will only be superseded 10 or more years in the future when a dedicated CMB polarization mission flies. Because these fluctuations are so small, we have to gather a huge amount of data to detect them. In its first year of operation alone, Planck will gather more than twice the data gathered by WMAP in its entire nine years of operation. Moreover, it will do this with more detectors, at more frequencies, at higher resolution and at higher sensitivity. However, this volume will make the analysis of the Planck data a serious computational challenge, requiring some of the world's biggest supercomputers. So for the last 10 years we've been developing the tools and techniques necessary in collaboration with the DOE's NERSC Center at Berkeley Lab. After 15 years of planning and development, Planck has finally launched. For the next two months, it will be travelling to its observing point, the second Lagrange point, and then the fun will really start.